Nashville is celebrating 60 years since Metro's consolidation. And you can't talk about consolidation without talking about Z. Alexander Luby. Long before consolidation was a part of the conversation, Luby was already a powerful force for change. In 1934, he represented a black woman seeking justice for her son's death after a Davidson County deputy sheriff shot him without cause. In 1946, he was one of three NAACP lawyers to defend African-American defendants charged with murder in Columbia, Tennessee. The other two attorneys were Maurice Weaver and Thurgood Marshall. They won acquittal for 23 of their clients. Luby won a seat at the then Nashville City Council in 1951, one of two black members since 1911. He helped write two pro-consolidation charter amendments. The first failed in 1958, but the second prevailed in 1962. Luby went on to serve two terms on the Consolidated Metro Council and for his work to integrate schools and defend student protesters who peacefully sat in at Nashville's segregated lunch counters, Luby's house on Meharry Boulevard was bombed. He died in 1972. Today, three metro institutions are Luby namesakes. The Luby Branch Library, the Luby Community Center, and the Luby Theater. A special civil rights room and collection at Nashville Public Library celebrates Luby and other civil rights heroes. And at Fisk University where he taught, you'll find the Z. Alexander Luby collection with letters, news clippings, photographs, and more. Today, we celebrate 60 years since Metro's consolidation, and we honored Z. Alexander Luby, a powerful man with a brilliant mind and a relentless courage. A special thanks to Mayor John Cooper, Deputy Mayor Brenda Haywood and the Metro 60th Organizing Committee, Carol Busey, County Historian, Diona Layden, Special Collections Librarian at Fisk University, the Special Collections Division at Nashville Public Library, Greg Hall and the Luby Branch Library team, and Metro Parks. <laughs>